Uh, first, uh, I'm Isuru uh, This is my Twitter handle, uh, GitHub, and LinkedIn username. Uh, Sauro? Yeah. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So, I'm Swarup Jain. I am a CH undergrad at IIIT Vadodara, India. So, I've been contributing to SUSI AI since March 17. So, I was a part of GSOC's Google Summer of Code 17 SUSI AI team. I've been also part of uh, GCI mentor and code heat mentor. So, these are my uh, handles. Please feel free to connect with me. And next, so let's begin. So, SUSI AI is an artificial intelligence it stands for Social Universe Super Intelligence. So the uh, it is founded by Michael Christian. It's he is over here. So the real power of SUSI is it's open source. The whole source code is available on GitHub repository. So any it's not just the single person who is making it. It's the whole community contributing to it. So uh, next is what she can do. So she can do a lot of things. So if you are lost, uh, it can search location for you. It just says where am I, or you can search for locations like where is London. It will give you a map, open street map with a link. Next, uh, it can search, it can act as a search engine. You can search for the terms. You will get the required information. And if you are feeling hungry, so uh, sushi won't cook food for you, but yeah, surely it will give you the recipe how to cook that delicious food. And if you are feeling lazy, you can always use text to speech and speech to text feature of sushi AI, and you can chat with sushi using voice commands. So it is available on many platforms like Android, iOS devices, on Google Assistant. A browser they, uh, you can access on web browser it is on chat.suci.ai on desktop and many instant manage, uh, messaging services like Gitter line and slack so the AI server so SUSI AI server is a uh, it holds the intelligence and personality of SUSI AI it follows an API centric approach where SUSI AI server act as uh, the server which communicates through the clients, the web and Android clients using APIs. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the overflow. Uh, like a uh, user first uh, <coughs> give the query through one of the clients. It acts as a chat interfaces. It may be Android, iOS, or web chat. So it passes uh, to the server using APIs where uh, it actually computes which skill needs to be mapped. The skills uh, are developed by the community, the learning part of SUSI, where uh, the skill CMS, it's available on skill.suci.ai. It's a content management system for SUSI, where it's a uh, editor <coughs> where anyone can easily write or edit the skills. So we can create skills, and the language of SUSI is very easy. Uh, the storage part of skills is it is on GitHub.Portisha/SUSI/skill/data, and then uh, when users uh, when the uh, skills uh, the content of the skills gets in uh, to the SUSI server, it computes uh, the rules based on the patterns and if it is matched the condition is set and the answer is uh, returned back as a JSON response. So here is an example. So the query was what is the temperature in Singapore? Uh, so it take accounts of the client ID which is used for authentication and the query dates and so uh, based on that it formats uh, the query and the answer is returned. So it has, uh, it's not uh, just the answer. It can be of various actions like of map, RSS, web search, query, etc. And the skill uh, refers to the which skill it has been matched. Uh, so coming back, uh, SUSI also stores all the 
settings and personalizations of the users uh, uh, which is for the uh, accounting purposes so sushi edits on a mm, the sushi skills which are stored in skill data repository follows this hierarchy where we have models which are general uh, tutorial or personas there are many groups like business games trivia other groups and then language uh, languages it is available on all, all the languages and then skills are the the intents which are clubbed together which belongs to the same groups and uh, these are all stored in sushi skill data repository and creating skills it is very easy to create the skills for example you can even add the javascript code to it uh, for this is one of the example where uh, it the skill can computes the power of a number so the tutorial is available on uh, sushi skill cms and if you want to analyze where the previous answer came, came from you can always set analyze so what sushi will do it will return you the link of uh, previous uh, answer so for example uh, the previous uh, answer was defined in the that skill and the github repository link of that so next let's move ahead with the demo uh, okay uh, uh, in the, uh, in this demonstration uh, i'll be talking about how to making our, our own uh, uh, personal assistant uh, by just uh, changing few uh, variables, okay. Uh, okay, I ha uh, here we have uh, uh, Susi uh, web chat applications repo. If you like to contribute, you can fork it from uh, GitHub, and I have my own copy uh, in my machine. Uh, I'll open it from uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, I'm not going to uh, do uh, bigger changes I'm just going to uh, change my logo <laughs> uh, uh, it's a react application uh, which was developed uh, within last uh, last Google summer of code period uh, if you if you need to uh, change colors uh, colors of this application, uh, you can simply do it in here uh, message section. I will uh, first show you the application. Uh, uh, you can use chat app, uh, web chat application uh, from this URL chat.susi.ai. Uh, mm, I will run my application. It will run on uh, port 3000. Okay. Uh, okay. I will uh, I will run uh, sample codes. You can see uh, I have changed my uh, logo. Uh, I will run sample codes. I will say hi first. So, uh, yeah. Where am I? Uh, these are a uh, few sample queries. If you like to uh, use uh, text to speech and speech to text uh, uh, features, you just need to click this button. Hi. Not height. Hi. Hello. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can use skill CMS uh, mm, from this URL skill.susi.ai. Uh, these are the skills we have made within uh, last uh, Google Summer of Code period, and a community made this. And uh, I will show one skill. This is one uh, skill uh, I made. 
this uh, this skill is for uh, fetch uh, book names. If if user need to uh, search for a book uh, uh, through the uh, chat application, uh, those commands are go, uh, goes through uh, this uh, skill. Uh, if you need to integrate new external API, you can easily uh, click on this and you can add the category, language, and name for your skill. And you can uh, easily command, uh, easily write new skills here. I will show you how to make a new skill. Mm, and I, I'm going to uh, make I, I'm going to show you how we can change our own hot word because now uh, now my uh, chat application is uh, Lulu. Uh, so let's say I'm going to hot word. Uh, this keyword checks uh, what is our hot word. Now my hot word is nothing. Mm, I'm going to change my hot word. Hot word. Lulu. So my uh, now it changed to Lulu. When I say Lulu, it say hi for me. Uh, so I will uh, I will demonstrate how uh, we handle this uh, from our skill CMS. Uh, this is the skill uh, that uh, we made for that. Uh, uh, in this part. Hot word star. Hot word star means the, this star represents for va variant, uh, any variant uh, uh, that can come after this hot word keyword. Uh, then after we uh, take the value, sorry, uh, we take that value and store in this underscore hot word uh, variable. This underscore is super important because uh, this underscore is for uh, uh, store these values in Susie's mind. And then after we say something with hot word, it compares whether uh, it, uh, yes, mm, here. Uh, if we say something, it compares whether uh, it is uh, equal to uh, our hot word we, uh, that we uh, stored previously. Then after it say, hi, how, how can I help? Uh, that uh, that's how we can change our own hot word for our uh, uh, our own personal assistant. Uh, let's move to uh, our uh, presentation. Okay, uh, future developments. Uh, we have to, uh, we have to integrate uh, learning techniques and. Uh, personalized themes. Uh, if you are a UI guy, uh, themes and personalize your uh, personal assistant. And uh, we need to integrate more skills. Uh, we need to integrate more external APIs. And and after that, uh, we need to make skills. We are uh, researching for that. Uh, how making uh, to make a skill that can make another skill. Uh, and uh, and we uh, as an next phase, uh, we are hoping to uh, create uh, skills from chat and contributions. Uh, if you like to contribute uh, Susi projects, uh, it's real great. Uh, if you can make a feature, uh, it's real cool. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, uh, if you can do something like that and bug fixes, uh, we really welcome. And documentation, documentations are somewhat uh, outdated. Uh, you can contribute uh, to uh, SUSI AI projects uh, and GSOC experience. Uh, this is our uh, SUSI team that we work with. Uh, uh, last GSOC period, uh, uh, these guys were working on uh, iOS project and Android website application and server, and they are also a, a hardware project for SUSI. Uh, 
uh, and uh, programmer's life was usually eat, go to sleep, uh, and within GSOC period for Asia, uh, programs were a little bit different. Uh, we have to send scrums uh, before 10 a.m. It's uh, it's a rule. Uh, <laughs> Uh, otherwise, you will get an <laughs> email from uh, your mentors. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also, we made a lot of contributions within uh, this period because we have to integrate one code commit for every, uh, every scrum. Uh, so that, uh, that made uh, this portfolio. And do you have something to say? So, uh, thank you. Uh, it depends. Uh, if you, if you like to uh, contribute uh, Susi server. Uh, no, sorry, uh, just okay. Yeah. Uh, so like the whole source code is available on GitHub slash Fossesia slash Susi server. So the server is built on Java. So you if you want to contribute to the server part, you need a basic understanding of Java the object oriented programming apart from it contributing to sushi is very easy like we can all contribute through making skills the skills are very easy to read and write the school skill tutorial is there so if you have no programming experience even then you can make skills very easily so you can host your own server train sushi in your way and can customize and personalize it yourself for your own assistant UI builder in the uh, yeah uh, so uh, yeah so for creating a skill it's very easy editor yeah so maybe uh, this Yeah, so like Sushi replies with a JSON, which uh, gets parsed here. So we, uh, this one, uh, this one is the editor, right? Uh, here, so we can create uh, skills here. Uh, like this one is the editor. We can just go here. So it requires some of the metadata, like who is the name, author, the URL provider, and the image if you want, and then uh, just start writing the skills. So I'll show you the, uh, yeah, uh, maybe tutorial, where is the tutorial? Yeah, so this one is the uh, uh, Susi skill development tutorial. So if you follow this, this is very easy. So it has some required skill format and then uh, the schema which i talked about and this the tutorial level zero so from very it beginning it will help you how to create the skills and then the level goes on 
so for example the very very simple hack is like roses are red and then uh, uh, if you write the skills so we have a dream uh, we call we call it a dream which can be tested on etherpad uh, so uh, if you type roses are red then susi will reply back susi is a hack so this way you can create many skills and the level goes on uh, later you can also query for tables and java, uh, even embed javascript code hi uh, i have two questions one uh, you are under the whole technology behind the core of this tool like this core tool is built using this technology like uh, java it is built on java and that if i want to print the print the model on custom purpose will that support yeah so if i have some lines in data and want to print i mean want to train again internal model and do inference on that custom purpose will that work so currently uh, the learning part of sushi actually it's from the skills whatever skills you create Uh, they are uh, stored in Susie Skill Data Repository, and uh, uh, it uh, takes all the learning from here. So whatever uh, all the skills are available, you can train on that. If so, I want to import the custom corpus or a kind of a, a conventional uh, dialog-dependent corpus. Uh, okay. So, uh, so first, uh, you need to like uh, format. it on based on the sushi skill language so first uh, like the import uh, like from microsoft and other things all the conversation dialogues first need to be in the format of sushi skill so it's pretty easy uh, like maybe some script can work in between okay. to modulate it to the sushi skill format thank you yeah uh, and if you need to know any more uh, about uh, sushi uh, uh all the things are available in uh there are many blogs uh blogs uh, in forsesia blog you can refer uh uh all little things are described uh here uh yes thank you thank you very much sir of next we have yucheng who is going to uh well, uh, go back around here uh